Hello students, in this video we'll see an example of computing the sum of two independent exponential random variables. Let's suppose that x and y are independent exponential random variables with common parameter theta. Let's find a PDF of the random variable z, which is the sum of x and y. To do this, we'll need our convolution formula. So recall that if I find the PDF of x plus y as a function of t, what this is is the integral from negative infinity to infinity of the PDF of the x random variable at x, the PDF of the y random variable at t minus x dx. And now recall that for exponential random variables, their PDFs are given by the following formula. So the PDF of x is the same as the PDF of y, and it's 1 over theta e to the negative x over theta for x greater than or equal to 0. And so this condition over here is important because there's a restriction on the range of x. So let's figure out how we would do this for this problem. So what we'll have is we'll have the integral from negative infinity to infinity, fx of x, which is 1 over theta, e to the negative x over theta. And I'm going to put the indicator function of x greater than or equal to 0. In other words, the only values we consider for this PDF are x greater than or equal to 0 times 1 over theta, and then e to the negative, I'll put a t minus x in for x, so minus t minus x over theta. And then I'm going to need the indicator function of the set where this is supported, right? So this is supported on the set where t minus x is greater than or equal to 0. So t minus x is greater than or equal to 0 dx. So our characteristic functions determine what limits of integration we put in. So if we simplify this, what we're going to have is 1 over theta squared. That will stay put. And let's look over here. We have a negative and a negative. That's going to be a positive x over theta. So the e to the x over theta terms are going to cancel out in our expression. And what we'll have is we'll just have 1 over theta squared, the integral from negative infinity to infinity, e to the negative t over theta, and then times the characteristic function, x has to be greater than or equal to 0. And also, t minus x has to be greater than or equal to 0 dx. And so now let's look at what those two conditions tell us. Those two conditions, the first condition tells us that x goes from 0 to infinity. So we can get rid of that first condition by saying this is the integral from 0 to infinity, 1 over theta squared, and then e to the negative t over theta. And I've used the condition now. I've forced x to be bigger than or equal to 0 by replacing that bottom limit with a 0. And then I still have this characteristic function of the set t minus x bigger than or equal to 0 dx. And let's analyze this condition over here. So what does this condition tell us? This condition tells us that x is going to be, if I rearrange this, less than or equal to t. So in this region, x is less than or equal to t. So our integral now becomes 1 over theta squared, the integral from 0 up to t of e to the negative t over theta. And then we'll have a dx. And so what we get over here is we're going to get, well, this is going to be e to the negative t over theta over theta squared times the integral from 0 up to t of just dx. And so this will just simplify to t times e to the negative t over theta over theta squared. And so that is the PDF of the sum of two exponential random variables. Now, let's recall that we say that z is gamma distributed with parameters 
theta and k. If the PDF has the form t to the k minus 1 e to the negative t over theta over theta to the k gamma of k. Now we know that gamma of, for, we know that gamma of 2 is equal to 1. And so what we see here is that we see that if I take k equals 2 and theta equals theta, that the x plus y, the sum of two exponential random variables that are independent with common parameter theta, is going to follow a gamma distribution with k equals 2 and theta equals theta. Now, when we're doing convolutions to find PDFs of sum of random variables, it's important to look at the support of the PDF and incorporate the support of the PDF into the conditions of the convolution so that your limits of integration are correct. Thank you very much.